application and uh, also it supports multiple programming language like uh, java ruby python and many more languages so let us today uh, talk about the web driver architecture there is web driver architecture 3 and 4 So three is used with JSON Y protocol and uh, WebDriver four architecture. It is used with um, uh, W three C protocol. So let me uh, explain about uh, WebDriver architecture three. So before that, let us know what actually this uh, Selenium WebDriver is. So it is a uh, you know Selenium WebDriver is a set of open source APIs. which will provide the capability to interact with any of the modern web browser and then uh, in turn to automate the user action with that browser so uh, it is essentially a, a component of the selenium fa family so selenium um, we know uh, it is not an independent tool rather it is a collection of tool that makes the selenium suit and it is created um, with two projects like selenium rc and web uh, driver which which was merged so let us get into why selenium web driver is popular it is popular because of few things that is for uh, it is useful for multi uh, browser capability and uh, multi language support fast executions and also it is um, locating web elements and it will handle the dynamic web elements and it will also handle waiting for elements as well so these are the reason we use the selenium web uh, driver so now let me uh, tell what is selenium web driver architecture works how it works so we have a client libraries here so these are the client libraries uh, with the particular languages to work so we have here java ruby python javascript and the c sharp so these are the languages that is supported by the selenium so by using this client libraries we should generate the automate script ready so using this we will be getting the test scripts so when we execute our automation script internally this client libraries will use the json wire protocol so by using json wire protocol whatever commands we are providing through a library uh, through through client libraries it will be encoding and de encoding or decoding it and the json wire protocol will again be taking with the different types of drivers so these are the browser drivers and these are the browsers so we have like a firefox driver chrome driver safari driver so these are the drivers that are that is uh, supported and every browser will be having its own driver so for example firefox browser will have its own uh, firefox driver chrome browser will have its own chrome driver fire uh, driver so this is how it works so by using json wire protocol whatever commands we are sending through the client libraries we will be encoding or decoding it and json wire will again be talking with the different types of drivers so json wire will be used to communicate between the client library and the um browser driver so now again the browser drivers what they do they will use this um http to interact browser through the http protocols so this is how they interact through the http protocols so every browsers have its own particular driver that is the uh, this is called the browser specific drivers so these uh, browser specific driver will communicate through http protocols to the browser and these client libraries will communicate with the drivers using json wire protocols so here the main thing is encoding and decoding using json wire protocol and these web uh, web browser i mean browser driver and the uh, real browser what they actually uses w3c that is the one which they used to, to communicate so this is how uh, the uh, architecture of selenium 3.8 Eight still three point eight. This is how it was worked, and this is how it was followed. So in Selenium Web Driver Architecture four, instead of JSON wire protocol, W three C protocol was been uh, introduced. So let's see about that. So they introduced a new protocol, which is W three C protocol. So why W three C was actually introduced, and what are its features or advantages uh, standards? so we know that as i said in browser driver and browser they will 
uh, they were using the they were using the uh, W3C uh, to the communicating. So whatever browser and drivers we are having, all these are developed by using W3C uh, protocol standards, W3C standards. So till Selenium 3.8, client libraries and JSON via protocols were not in uh, W3C protocol. So because, uh, because basically uh, the command which we send from client libraries, these will encode or decode it and they will request to the particular driver or browser in the uh, JSON uh, wire protocol. Whereas in this, now since even the browser driver drivers and browser, they are having W3C pro standards to communicate, even using Selenium script and this, it will be very easy to communicate. So they will not be like encoding or decoding in uh, W3C protocol. So now uh, universal yeah. drivers, if you see browsers are using yeah. W3C standard protocols. And when we use W3C standard protocol as well, instead of JSON wire protocol, everything will become stable and constant. So now we, uh, when all the client libraries, uh, or libraries or drivers and uh, browsers, they follow W3C protocol. So it will be more easy and stable. And in W3C, encoding and decoding is not required. Whereas in uh, um, JSON via protocol, it is required. So the implementation of W3C protocol, the advantages are stability because all are using the same protocol and there will be no, uh, it will not be like inconsistency. So this is why the new features are, and in this, the new features are also added. So in uh, short, we can say that in Selenium 4, architecture is different. And what will be the difference in previous Selenium 3, we use uh, JSON, uh, JSON wire pro uh, protocol. And in Selenium 4, instead of JSON wire protocol, we use W3C uh, protocol. So what is the major differences? Uh, two things. One is when JSON wire protocol is used, they, your encoding and decoding is required when we are sending the request to the drivers. But when we are using W3C protocol, since all the pr uh, protocols are in same standard, so here encoding and decoding is not required. And the communication becomes faster and will also be stable and can avoid the inconsistent scenarios. So this is the main difference. So this is what it is written. So Selenium is not a single tool. So whatever I explained, it is in the same thing. So it is supported and provides uh, structure and tools for QA who are who can write code based automation as well codeless automation so here web drivers will provide a code based mechanism of automation so in conclusion we can say that uh, selenium web driver is a component of selenium family and it is the introduction in the system that will lead to overcome a few of the shortcomings of selenium rc uh, so in my next uh, demo, I'll be telling about the components and features. So here the web driver is a set of APIs, which will make the interaction and actions on the browser very easy and quick. And in Selenium web driver, it will provide a quick, uh, you know, few, uh, few new features and all, and it will be unique uh, features are available in this, and it can be automated uh, dynamically. So here, additionally, it can also automate all the web application no matter in which programming language we use so like all the programming language that supports like java c sharp python uh, javascript so everything will be supported but we have to use for uh, one language for one program so selenium web driver interacts with the browser with help of various things so this is how uh, selenium web driver works that's it any doubt yeah good I think uh, so, but you did not do any uh, practical right now, right? No, sir, I didn't start the practical step. And you are following as per the tutorial uh, chapter by chapter? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm following a uh, of for Selenium. So I just started from yesterday. About. That is a good one. You can... Okay, sir. All right, then. Let's meet at the um, Okay, sir. Thank you, sir.